heart attack, fast fatal heart impact, past painful scars, in fact, I blast tasteful bars and pass, I back up my actions, fact, don't ask, grab reactions, jack, attack with every word, then act with class, as they hear me snap, I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise, now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce, I ain't lost, I'm finally loose, pick a new so for excuse, I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used, everybody wants a piece now, y'all can rest in peace now, you're dead to me, so peace out, remember you're discreet now, get ready for the Alrighty. Hello, hello, everybody. This is Kyuru Show here. And now, whenever we last left off with this series, Junto, he managed to kill the supposed immortal angel demon hybrid. Now, Deku managed to kill this man by using spiritual body and possessing him, you could say. Now, for those who are unaware of how this happened, back in the Elven Forest, when Deku sold his name for powers to enter the library, the power Deku used was spiritual magic. And this magic allows a person to basically do whatever they can with spirits, sense them, see them, control them and even use their own spiritual soul, you could say, as a bit of a bargaining chip, possessing a body, or even, well, trading places with something to take its power. Now, this is quite a risky move, however, and it's considered to be a forbidden art, since the damage to your soul, it can hurt a lot. Now, with those words in mind, Junto, he did then kill a man, take his kills, and, well, go back to trying to repair his town. Tuska and him currently did go out for supplies, and shortly afterwards they would have returned and begin the process of repairing the dojo. Now, with everybody working together and Deku making some copies, things would have gotten fixed up relatively fast. And, well, yeah. All that's basically left to do is let paint it dry. If you do want to use those words. Now. With that being said, everyone did begin at least begin to start cook and eating food. As, everyone, they did eat, and some people, they did actually begin to start training. And staying up later after dinner. We do actually have Junto, who he did call it quits for today. He usually would have stayed up later. At least by four hours, some people do know that. He never misses an opportunity to try and train them. However, right now, he kind of is. But then again, a lot of people, they do understand exactly what type of day he just had. So, they'll just catch him tomorrow. With that, we did actually have the next day, where people were starting to wake up and make breakfast. Now, we do actually have where somebody they do come knocking onto the door of Chanto's room. And Tasca, she does actually go to pull open the slide and ask Lord Junto if he is currently awake. As you do actually have where Junto, he is lying there, rolled over facing away from Tasca. Lord Junto, are you alright, sir? Her going to walk forwards. As she has going to bend down and go to grab the blanket. Her pulling it back slightly as she has somewhat stared down at the thing she does see. Lord Junto is facing away from her. However, his sheets have blood on them. Now, she doesn't mean to go to pull these upwards and go to at least go to inspect his body. See that there's blood running out of his mouth. Lord Junto, Lord Junto. Uh, uh, do you mind s shutting up? Lord Junto, are you hurt? Who did this to you? <coughs> I feel like shit. Lord Junto, what happened? What? Nothing. I'll be fine. He does say. Going to at least wave his hand and tell her to get off of him. <laughs> now, 
Deku, he does go to sit up. As he does go to wipe the blood from his mouth, and you're going to take a deep breath. <sighs> I'm fine. <sighs> Just give me a minute. Lord Junto, are you alright? I'm okay. Now, Deku does go to try and stand up onto his feet. However, he does quickly go to fall backwards and smash onto the ground. <sighs> Everything hurts. Lord Junto, is this because of your battle? I don't know. I think so. After that one blast, everything just felt like shit. <sighs> Pain tolerance is able to keep me going, but I don't think it's activating right now. I think I may have overused it. That or it's working, and I should be in agonizing pain. <coughs> Lord Junto, is there anything I can get you? Tuska, Deku to say, turning his head to look at her. Just some water. Now, she is going to stand up, and she has quickly run out the room. Now, she does inform other students that they need to teach the younger students, since right now she has had to deal with something else, and Lord Junta will be busy today. Now, the students, they all do look at each other. He's probably just sleeping in. Maybe he's just lazy today. Eh, he saved all of them yesterday, and he's pretty much, well, deserved a day off. Now, some kids do think that. However, others they do just think that Lord Junto doesn't want to train today. And they shouldn't really either. Now, with that, we do actually where Tuska does go to get Junto water, before coming back to his room and giving him some. As Deku, he's at least laying there still, trying not to move. His body, it hurts very bad. He feels like someone shot off his arms and legs, along with at least burn the skin off of his stomach. Now, Deku also does feel sharp pain in the left side of his face, running from his eye down past his nose to the right side of his face. Now, he does ask, well... Wise man, exactly what happened? Analyze, analyzing, analyzing. Theory, brought up. Theory, shared. Theory is, it's possible. Using spiritual body, dangerous move, has caused damage to body. Within time, will heal properly. However, if left, as is, will currently cause further injury. Now, Deku is confused, asking Wiseman what he does mean. Now, you do actually have Tuska. Who she is just laying, well, not laying there. She is currently getting the water, and she's at least able to hear Lord Junto speak. Hmm? I hurt myself that badly. Day off? Shit. Wise man, when's the soonest they'll be able to operate? Analyze. Analysis. Spiritual damage confirmed. Three days. Shit. So, is that a three days I'll be able to move and run around and fight three days, or I'll at least be able to move around without any pain three days? Further analysis. Yes. Now, Deku, he did just look at Wise Man. The skill in his inventory. This thing, it's stupid. From the way it does act sometimes, he doesn't ever get a proper answer. And sometimes it's way too specific. Now, Deku, he just does guess that that might be one of the drawbacks to it. It's a smart ass. Now, as Deku does think that, Tuska would have come back in, as she's currently sitting down in front of Lord Junto, asking him exactly if he's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. 
I'll be able to operate, what, tomorrow, maybe? Hmm? Lord Gento, you shouldn't push yourself like this. Hmm? If you need a break every once in a while, we understand. It's difficult keeping up with all of us. Along with that, well, Tuska, it's not that. Hmm? I hurt myself in a way that's not physical. Lord Gento, I'm confused. Hmm? Tuska, you know what a soul is, right? Yes, I do. I believe so. It's something that every living species does possess. In that fight, I hurt mine, taking down the guy. The enemy? Yes. Currently, my soul's damaged. And... <clears throat> I think it needs a few days to heal. I'm a demon, so it should be faster than a normal person's, I believe. But Lord Gento, you shouldn't say that for sure. You can't be certain. Hmm? I know. I'm going off of my intuition, though. Now, Deku does try to at least remain calm. He's in an immense amount of pain. However, he does know that right now is not the best time for it. Now, he does inform Tuska that right now she does need to at least find his companions. He does want to speak with them. Now, with that being said, Tuska, she does understand. Her going to stand up and walk out of the room. As Deku does go to take in a deep breath and try to relax for a minute. As he actually does at least have pain strike the signs of pain strike over his face. And yeah. He does just sit here for a bit of a time. Now, the door would eventually open. As we do have our Todoroki, he does go to walk in. Hmm. You still in bed? Yeah, I am. So, you just used that much mana? Yeah, I did. Shit. The fact that he's here right now is not too good. I believe I owe you an explanation. Dorigi does say. Now, he does get to sit down. As he does look at the cup of water, that's currently to the right of Junto. Now, he does go look back towards him. So, I'm sure you're curious as to how I became an angel. Hmm? Angelic. What? Listen, Todoroki. The laws of this world aren't the same as our own. What we consider to be demons are different from what are the actual demons here. You are not an angel. You're angelic. Something that we call an angel. We. You're not a resident of this world. Actually, I am. Hmm? Todoroki, you don't know me at all, do you? No, I don't. But anyways... Listen. It's, it's very complicated. But, well, let's start with the beginning. Whenever I first met my party, my friends... We went to a dungeon, and I tried to find a specialized herb. That herb, it didn't exist there. So, I was pissed. I wanted to walk away from them, and leave them behind. However, they all couldn't handle the dungeon. Not without me. Things were too much of a challenge. An Oni shaman who can not really control many things that she can summon. A wizard who doesn't have enough access to materials. And an elf swordsman who they are good in combat and probably the only one who could stay alive. 
who's too busy protecting the other two. I had to come back. If it wasn't for the fact that I was 160, they all would have died. And the boss would have eaten them alive. Hmm? Okay. Afterwards, I told them all that I was going to head to another dungeon. Since the one I was at, I believe it was the wrong one. And they followed me. They just wouldn't leave me alone. They were all quite surprised at how powerful I was. Ice magic and water magic. Quite interesting. Along with, well, ice, well, light magic. Hmm. I see. So, let me guess. Along the way, you grew closer to them and learned the power of friendship. Not really, no. I learned not everyone in this life is out to get me. We traveled for about two weeks before we found the dungeon. And then we went inside. I thought I found the root there, but I didn't. In fact, it was a plant that looked similar but went by a different name. Ha. Huh. Okay. And then there was a quest I wanted to go on. A quest to come a mountain. Since there was something up there that I could have learned, or at least found. The herb. Mm-hmm. Are you even actually listening to me? I am. <sighs> However, I'm just tired. Huh, please. I doubt you are. You and I both know that we both have plenty of stamina. Please, Todoroki. Continue. All right. I learned that this mountain I wanted to climb, the atmosphere was too intense. Along with that, anything that got above a certain temperature or certain height, it freezes immediately. So I had to be specialized in fire magic to go through it. That part pissed me off quite a bit. However, learning that I can specialize in fire magic, that was quite interesting. The fact that you can master to such a degree. Go up and go back down. Yeah. I didn't believe it, so I took a crack at it. I didn't make it very far up the first time. But, if they hadn't pulled me out, I probably would have froze to death. Then there's the fact that... I started training. Going on adventures, going through real fights. Facing off against real enemies, going into combat. I even grew a bit closer with some of them. Me and Eldrin were brothers in arms. Carly, she does look up to me because of my strange powers. And, well, Sami, she's different. Let me guess. She acts like every traditional Oni, right? Actually, that's kind of the thing. I'm not too sure. Hmm? I've heard Onis are very open about it with a strong. Hmm? Yeah, they are. You should meet Ray. Um, she's a chick in my party. She's half Oni, half elf. Oh, that's a thing? Hmm? Yeah, Todoroki. It's interesting, isn't it? Kind of. But still. Anyways. I tried doing my best. I've tried getting stronger. By the time I reached level 300, it was different. I was ready. I wanted to go through one more dungeon to celebrate. And we ended up facing off against a creature that shouldn't have existed. Hmm? And that creature would be... Ugh, a giant fucking spider. Hmm? I mean, like, no, seriously, this thing was like a tarantula the size of a fucking building. Are you serious? That large? Yeah, dude, it was... Ugh... 
worst thing was the entire area around us. It was so bad. We were surrounded by spiders. Then I decided to use fire magic. I've specced into this skill before, and I know how to use it. But I've never cast the attack. If I didn't burn that entire place to the ground and kill the spiders that way, we all probably would have died. I gained 40 levels from it, and it was pretty intense. 40 levels at level 300? Yeah. Jesus Christ. How many spiders were there down there? Way too many to count. I mean, that thing alone probably could have taken over the nation. And be quite a bit of trouble for both sides. But it was too big to move and it was stuck in the cavern. Thankfully it's collapsed now. Alright, that's pretty messed up. Yeah. I went back to the mountain. I told all of them that I would try to make it up as far as I could. That was two years, well, not two years ago. One year ago. It was trippy and strange, but I got up there. By the time I got to the very top, it wasn't even cold. I didn't feel tired. I thought I had hypothermia for a few minutes. But I realized something. I didn't have to use fire magic. In fact, by the time I got to the top, it was so warm, I basically had to take my coat off. And on top of that mountain, I found the herb I was looking for. Along with something strange. Strange? Yeah. There was an old woman living in that garden, or the top of the mountain. She lived in a cave, and she didn't really speak very much to me. I could just look at her and understand her words. I asked her who she was, and I couldn't even understand her name. I don't think I could even have perceived it. She asked her so many different questions, and she couldn't even answer one. It's strange. I see. What happened next? Well, a few things. She offered to make me my potion. Hmm? Potion? Yeah. It was something that was interesting. It's said to be able to cleanse the soul of sin. I think if you drink it, you'd die. <laughs> oh, no, now is not the time for jokes. Yeah. Anyways. She offered to make me my potion if I could pass a few trials. And they were weird. She had me face through a lot of things. She had me clear my head and clear my mind. She basically tore me apart and put me back together again. She was so kind, but so brutal when it came to this. Hmm? What do you mean? My family. My father. I got to see him again. Hmm? Really? Yeah. I spoke with him. I fought him. And I beat the ever-living shit out of him. And he kicked my ass a few times. Tough love, you know? Just like whenever I was a kid. Okay, that's out of left field. Trust me, if you had my father, you'd understand. Exactly who is your father? Hmm? Really? You don't know. Todoroki? I thought it would have been obvious. My father is Endeavor. Hmm? Endeavor? 
Oh my god, you have a shitty dad. <laughs> Please. That's the understatement of the year. He's the number one hero. And he still has his head up his own ass. <laughs> really? Number one? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what happened after I died. <laughs> died? Yeah. I got killed in my world. In fact, it's shitty. I heard a mention about that. But what was your life like before? Now, Deku does just look away. He doesn't really remember his mother and father very well. But he does remember Inko, the one who raised him. He's told her about her before. However, many people different many people didn't like him very much. They looked down on him because he was quirkless. You were quirkless? Yeah, I was. So, back to your story. Right. I faced off against him. This test, I kept failing over and over and over again. I was at this for months. It took me a while, but I think I learned the right answer. I, whenever I was faced with it, I fought him, and I won. The option was there of striking him down and just winning like that. Getting my revenge and ending it. However, that time I didn't feel joy. I just felt nothing. I felt no rage towards this man anymore. My life with him could not fucking stand the shit I've seen here. I wish to go back, actually. I just let him go and pulled him up off the ground. Apparently that was enough. Hmm? Are you serious? Yeah. She made me my potion. And, well, gave me an angel's blessing. I drank the potion, well, passed out after some pain, and I woke up and she was gone. I found a new skill, and, well, a few other things. I see. So is that about it? Yeah, that's about it. Now, to rookie, you would go to stand up. As... He does turn around and inform Judge that he's going to stay in town for a little bit of time. Since this place, he does want to check it out more. Go ahead. I don't care. Now, Todoroki, he does go to leave. That guy must be really exhausted. Did no one give him a mana potion, at least? Shit. Yeah, he'd probably be pretty easy to face right now, but even then... The guy's got the physical advantage, along with that chain spear. Now, Todoroki, he does go to leave. And Deku, he does just think. He's pretty sure that if Todoroki found out that he was this weak right now, he would have immediately gone for the kill. Now, we do actually have where Todoroki, after leaving, a few minutes do pass by. And Tuska, she has returned with Deku's companions. Now, the door, it would open. Deku turning his neck and being able to see a few people. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Have an amazing day. Catch you guys in the next part.